Hey everyone, welcome back to KT Sessions. Today we are going to explore list a powerful data structure in Power Automate that can help us handle sets of data, organize items and perform operations in bulk. List is a way to store multiple items in a single variable letting you work with group groups of data efficiency. In Power Automate, we can add, remove, and manipulate items in a list using a variety of built-in actions. So let's start by creating a new flow. And in this uh, example, we will create a list of file names. In this example, we will create a list of days of the week. So head over to the action pane and under variables, select create new list and also you can search for list and you will get all the actions of the list see so first of all we are going to create a new list i will take this action create new list here we will get this dialog box and you can see variable produced list so we can click on it and we can rename our list base name click on save so as soon as we click on save we can see this list in our flow variables in days name. So now our initial list is ready for adding items. Now let's add items to our list. We will use the add item to list action. Here you can specify the item to add. In uh, this case, we will add the name of the days. Okay, so here you can see this action in the actions pane, add item to list. So drag drop this and here we will give the list, uh, we will give the name of the item. I'm giving Sunday and into list, here we need to select the list name in which we want to add this item. And also here, instead of uh, writing some value, we can select a variable. Means uh, if we have any variable which we want to add in this list, so we can give that variable also. So this will add the value of the variable to this list. And now look at this interface, guys. You can easily understand by reading this sentence what's happening here. Create a new list and store it to day's name. Add item Sunday to the list day's name. So this is very easy to understand what we are performing here. So I will uh, copy this action because I want to add uh, one more item and I will paste it. So I will double click on it and I will give the another item name Monday. So now we have two actions. First, we'll add the Sunday to the list. Second, second action, we'll add Monday to the list. Similarly, we can add multiple items to the list. Now to remove an item, simply use the remove item from list action. You can remove items based on their index, which refers to the position of the item in the list. Indexing start from zero. So the first item in the list has an index of zero. So in our case, this Sunday has index zero. And this second item Monday. And this has index one. And on index two, we have this Tuesday. Now, if I want to remove item from the list, so here we can give the index or the value. I will prefer index. So I want to remove the value from the index one and the list from which list I want to remove. I want to remove from day's name list. I will select this and click on save. So let me use a message box. So in message box, we will give the title and message to display in message to display we will uh, display the value 
of in uh, which is available at index one. Okay, so for that we need to get the value of the list at index one, and uh, we will click on this select variable and we will select this variable now. Here we can give square brackets and we can give the index like 1, 0, or 2. So it will give the value of the item which is available at index 1 in this list. Okay. And we will print value again after removing the item. So first, in uh, first uh, message box, it should uh, print Monday. And after removing the index from uh, after removing the item from index one, it should print Tuesday. Okay, so let me update uh, the title after removing item. So let me run the flow. and uh, our flow is running you can see on the right hand side we have three values in the list and now it should print the message monday so monday is available at index one now when we remove the monday from the index one this tuesday will uh, move to the index one and here we go we can see tuesday and also in the flow variables you can see now we have only two items in the list. So this is how we can create a new list. We can add items to the list. We can remove the items from the list. Now let me disable this action. And let me show you if I want to extract the value of uh, a particular item. So what I can do is I can use this set variable action once items are in the list we can access specific ones using their position or index this is done with the set variable action and by specifying the list name and index in the square brackets like we did in uh, display message action similarly we can do it here So just I will give this an item at index zero and I will click on save. So now it will assign this uh, item at uh, zeroth index to variable new var. So we will save this value in this variable. So when we run the flow, we can see the value of this uh, new variable. See, we are getting this Sunday. List, the sort list action allow you to arrange items in ascending order or descending order, which is particularly useful when working with numbers or dates. So let me show you one example. So this is the sort list action and here we need to select the list days name and by default it will sort the list in ascending order by the name and uh, uh, if my list has more than uh, one properties for example if we are using any list of files folders so in that we may have uh, some properties like created date mo last modified extension etc so in that case what we can do is we can use this uh, feature sort by list items properties Okay, so here we can give the first property to sort by. So like we can give uh, mod last modified and uh, we want to sort that uh, in descending order or ascending order that we can select. But this day's name list, this is, uh, we have only one properties in the, we have only one property in this list, which is name. And I will give name and sort it by ascending order. Let me save this. So similarly, we can add uh, more properties by which we want to sort the list. But in this, we are going to sort it by default. 
So in this we are not going to use any property. Let me click on save and uh, let me run the flow. And here you can see all the variables. Uh, let me click on it and you can see it has uh, sorted in the uh, ascending order. We have Friday, Monday, Saturday. So it has sorted the list in the ascending order. All the seven days we have. So this is how we can sort the data in of our list. Thank you guys for watching this video till end. So these are the some basic uh, features, some basic. Uh, so these are some basic actions of uh, list package. And that is how you can use list in Power Automate for desktop to manage groups of data effortlessly. Whether it's adding, removing, sorting or looping list, uh, list give you the flexibility to handle data in complex automations. I encourage you to explore these actions and apply them in your own projects. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment for more Power Automate for desktop tutorials. In our next next episode, we will covering how to work with loops in Power Automate. Until then, happy automation, happy automating, bye.